Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today, Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, um, where Jesus said these words. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he or she who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly. I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Oh man, those, those are scary words. May you never hear those words spoken to you from the lips of Jesus. I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. I, I think this is a counterpoint to the, the words in Matthew 25, um, in the parable of the talents, the words that we want to hear when we reach the gates of, of eternal life. Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of many things. Come in and share your master's happiness. That's what we want to hear, not these terrifying words in Matthew chapter 7. I never knew you. You see, Jesus says there might be many people who call me Lord, Lord, Lord even. There might be many people who have done impressive things in the name of Jesus. Miracles, casting out demons, prophecy and so on. But if you didn't do the will of his father in heaven, he never knew you. He doesn't know you because to know God is to do his will. To love God is to obey his commandments, as we learn in John's gospel. And, and it's just really important that we we take stock of this, that we don't fritter our lives away thinking that we're, as it were, Christians. And yet all the time not serving the will of God, not being servants. We want to hear those words, well done, good and faithful servants. And servants are those who obey. And obedience is so important, isn't it? Sometimes this, I think there's a danger in, in evangelicalism that we've, we've taught this kind of doctrine that as long as you've prayed your prayer, you've got your heavenly insurance, you've got your golden ticket to heaven. And that you don't need to really bother with obeying God or doing his will. You're saved. And there's a truth in that, in that we are saved by grace and not by our strivings or our work. But at the same time, to have faith is to know God and to know God is to obey God and to align oneself with his will in all that we do. So the challenge this week is to take stock, check and think, where am I with God's will? What is the Father willing me to do? And make sure that we're servants and get on and do it.